This is Instructor Jones, back with Conversations for College Success, and I have an opportunity to interview Denzel Prince again, and I wanted to follow up with a couple of things that we didn't talk about the first time. And the first is going to be, you were able to secure a co-op. Can you share how you did that and what happened? Uh, So I secured this co-op at GE Lighting because of the LINK program that I was in. Um, So I was part of a program called the LINK Organization at Cleveland State University. Um, It was by Instructor Jones, Instructor Charlene Jones. Um, I know she created it to assist and help minority students because they don't always have the resources and the the best support um, like non-African-American students do. And so I was a part of this organization. Um, She introduced me to um, someone named Tanya (laughs) um, who worked as a mentor um, for the LINK link organization. And so she connected us. Um, I gave her my resume. We tweaked it a little bit. We met. And so um, after that, I had an interview uh, with Tanya for GE Lighting for an internship for co-op, excuse me, a co-op position for marketing. And so I know we had a five minute sit down interview. Um, she was she was surprised. So she was like, we're going to get you to the next steps um, of this interview. Um, so I met with the manager, the marketing manager, um, she was very impressed with my, with kind of like my background experience and things like that. And so I acquired my and secured my first intern. I keep saying internship, my co-op, my first co-op um, through the Link organization. And so that, yep, that's how I secured my first, my first co-op at GE Lighting. Thank you, Denzel. But I didn't need to correct one thing. I did not start the Link program. I was able to uh, run it for several years. However, the person who actually started it was Dr. Donna White. And she did that primarily out of the career services department at that time mm-hmm. because she wanted to do exactly what you shared to make sure that students of color had the opportunity to participate in co-ops and internships before they graduated so they would have an easier time finding a position upon graduation. So thank you for that. The other thing I want to ask you about is what kinds of experiences did you have through it? Well, before I do that, first off, a co-op tends to be alternating semesters. Yep. But we were just talking about the fact that yours wasn't alternating. So share a little bit about that. And then also what your co-op experience was like. Okay. So um, basically, yeah, co-op is uh, rotations. So a lot of people uh, want to know the difference in an internship and a co-op. So co-ops rotate every single semester. However, I was able to stay at GE Lighting as a co-op for two years straight. So I, I, I kind of did rotate within the business, though. I rotated functions. I worked in communications. I worked in marketing. I worked in marketing communications. I've even worked in HR. And so I rotated within the company because of me internally networking with um, managers and, and them getting to know my experience and my skill sets. Uh, we had a total of, what, 22 co-ops um, that were there during my entire two years there. And I was the only one who stayed for the entire duration of two years because of my networking. My networking was literally the reason I stayed at GE Lighting in two years. And I've even had, they threw me a lunch um, after my two years, just saying that you're the only co-op ever <laughs> to stay this long. And I, yeah, that's what I would say, networking within the organization. If you don't, because I came there with entry-level experience, Um, But I was eager and I was passionate to learn the skills. And I would always ask questions. And don't just ask one person. Ask five people in different functions. You always want to network internally, especially if you're new to a company. Um, If you're new to a place, you just want to talk to people. And you have to get comfortable with talking to people that you don't know. You have to just introduce yourself, who you are. Students really have an advantage over anyone in the world because you're a student and people look at college students so highly because they know um, that you're striving and and you're pursuing a degree. So they're going to be willing to help you. And so students really have to take advantage, especially during your co-op of just being a student and asking questions and being a sponge of observing so much information. That's what I did. I literally took advantage of being that student and just asking different project managers. I've asked marketing managers, HR managers, and they allowed me to be a co-op within their function. They're like, how would you feel if you were a finance co-op, if you were HR? And I was like, I'll take it. I'll do it. I'm willing to do it. And so that's that's how I stay. And so that's kind of how my experience um, was as a co-op at GE Lighting, just being just that sponge of soaking so much information and being like a switch army knife, being a lot of things and a lot of skill sets. And so 
that's kind of that's kind of what I would say in my experience in my club. I would also say that you also went above and beyond. Yeah. And the above and beyond was you weren't given an assignment. And when you were done, that was it. Yeah, that's true. As you mentioned, you would ask questions yeah. or you yeah. ask for more work or you all those things make a difference and yeah. become important for students to be able to be appreciated as well as to be known. Right. I think that's another piece that's important right. for uh, the workers mm-hmm. or people that you're working for right. to get to know you as a person yeah. and not just as your right. intern number, blah, blah, blah. Right. That's true. And I, and I, I want to add something. I know, I'm like you said, I went above and beyond even to like a certain limit or even a certain heights because I would ask questions like, how does this function how is it valuable to the business? And I will literally ask questions about the business. Like, how does this contribute to the business? What is a uh, supply chain? How are they? And so I will ask literally questions that had nothing to do with my co-op, but they will answer it and they will connect me with another person. Here, talk to him. Here, talk to him. To a point where the whole company knew exactly who I was. <laughs> and so that's, you know, like you said, I went above and beyond. I, yeah, I definitely did. And so I would, yeah, I would encourage you to as well, because you're a student. You, I mean, you, the sky is the limit for all students. You want to learn everything you want to while you're young, because when you get old, you're not going to want to travel and do all these things. And so that, that's what I would say. Just, just be a sponge and ask questions. And so, yeah, that's what I would add on. Well, we appreciate that. And I have a different question for you, Denzel. And that is, how did you get comfortable with networking? Because when you talk about networking, yeah. students hate it. They don't want to talk <laughs> to anybody. Somehow, yeah. I think through osmosis, they think they're going to pick up this yeah. stuff. How did you become comfortable with that? Well, I tell all people, all students this, you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. You have to. I'm going to repeat that. You have to become comfortable with being uncomfortable. You have to talk to people that is nerve wracking. It's right. Like it's racking your nerves. You have to be willing to talk to people that you don't know, that you've never met. And I'm going to, and that's going to open so many doors for you just bit because it's uncomfortable. Don't get me wrong. Just talking to people, random people, it's uncomfortable. It's, it's kind of weird, but you have to get comfortable with just being in that setting and just talking to people like, Hey, how are you doing? My name is this. This is my major. This is my skill. I work here. I still do that today this day um even though i'm out of college i still do that to other industries and other professions and my colleagues and things like that and so that's my advice you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable and and, and others will say well how, does, how do you do that well you have to get in uncomfortable situations and you have to experience that because that experience is what's going to make you comfortable and so that's that's my advice to all students who, who, who just want to network and, uh, and have um, unlimited opportunities to, to um, things like that. So, fair enough. Now, do you have one or two standard questions that you always ask, or does it depend on the person or their department? Um, well, you definitely want to first start with your name. Hi, how are you doing? My name is Denzel Prince. Um, oh, and I'm going to speak like I'm a college student. My name is Denzel Prince. I'm a digital marketing communications major at Cleveland State University. Um, I'm an intern here. And, and, and that's how I started the conversation. And so they will introduce us and we're here. And, and, and you, I would say, because I have I have about two to three questions written down for that person just to kind of spark a conversation. And that's what I would, I would advise and encourage a lot of you students to do. Just study the person that you're going to talk to and, and create about two to three questions just to spark a conversation because you just don't want to introduce yourself and boom, that's the end. I ask them a question about their career. I ask them a question about a skill set that matters, that's a skill set that's trending. I ask them about their personal life. You could be like, how did you get started? What college did you go to? Just think like that and so that that can spark a conversation and that conversation maybe it can go to an hour long once 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 the other person gets to talking and so that's that's what i would say just introduce yourself my name is denzel prince i'm this major and just write down two to three questions about that person's career how did they get started why did they change their major because you they may say something and then those are follow-up questions um when they're talking and so that's kind of that's kind of my recipe (laughs) for that well i appreciate that denzel that's actually a great recipe and the critical piece there Write the two to three questions yep. down. It's not based on your memory. Right. That way, if for some reason you can't think, and that occasionally happens, particularly yep. when you're <laughs> uncomfortable, right. the questions are right there in front of you yep. and you still will be able to read. Exactly. So exactly. <laughs> that's what makes the difference. Yep. But I'll also say that um, knowing Denzel the way I do, he just became comfortable asking questions of people who are strangers or introducing himself to people that he didn't know or he knew of. For example, we talked about he introduced himself to Mayor Justin Bibb. That was phenomenal. People don't necessarily feel comfortable enough to do that. Right. He had been doing 
in formal conversations and networking for years. And so it didn't, he didn't think twice. He just introduced himself, told who he was, what he was doing. And they had a conversation. Yep. So those are the kinds of things that we want to encourage students to do. Mm -hmm. And whether you are attending a career fair and introducing yourself to people or you're going to an event, because that's the other thing I will actually say. Whenever I asked Denzel, could he participate in an event? He always said yes. I never got any hesitancy out of Denzel. You'll be invited to a whole host of activities, <laughs> events, whether they're yeah. conferences or luncheons or whatever it is, say yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, I, and I would like to add on to that. I always follow up with the person that you that you met. Uh, even the mayor, like um, Instructor Jones just mentioned, me mentioned um, me meeting uh, Mayor Justin Bill. I, I uh, messaged him on LinkedIn. Like, How you doing, Mayor Justin Bill? We met at the BAFC, BA. VPACF. VPACF. Sorry about that. The VPACF, um, the gala. And so I followed up. You always want to follow up with the person because if you just introduce yourself and never speak again, what good was that than just a wasted conversation? You, you want to follow up. Do you remember me? We met here. We talked about this. Just connect with them. I always stay connected with them. And that's and that's kind of been the recipe to my success in staying with people and them getting to know me because you may see them at another event and they're, oh, Ramona Lowry or any, anybody. You, you know what I'm saying? And so that's what you want to do. Just follow up. Up, meet people and always and i'm saying always follow up with the person that, that you connected with and so that's excellent thank you jen so i'm going to say one last thing and then we can end this and that is through bpacf you were also interviewed as it related to your business oh uh, yeah would you like to talk a little bit about that uh, so yeah i do have a business <laughs> and they they interviewed um black professionals <laughs> um and even then i was networking then while they were interviewing us um, because i do have a business from networking i've met a lot of the employees a lot of the contractors a lot of the, the acquisitions are made through networking that that networking is, is so important in every aspect of life i mean from being a student from being a business owner and the, there are limitless opportunities for just talking to people that you don't know because you may run into bill gates one day and you don't even know and so that's what that's my biggest my biggest advice man. just just networking and yeah bpacl they did interview me i'm about the business that I do have in um, in Toledo, Ohio, and so yeah, I was featured. I was featured in there. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but yeah, I, I was featured. But like I said, all of that was done through through networking and who knows who and things like that. And so that's my advice, though. That's that's really my advice. So the last piece I will leave people with is that relationships matter. Uh, Building them, staying in touch with people, yeah. as Denzel mentioned, it all makes a difference. Yeah. You don't know who knows who. And that person that you've just met can connect you yeah. with the person who can make a huge difference yeah. in your life, in your career. Yeah. Thank you so much, Denzel, oh, yeah. for oh, yeah. having this opportunity to speak with you. Anytime. You have a great day. Yeah, you too.